A glacier in Antarctica is melting at a faster rate than previously expected, scientists announced this month. In a new study, published in Nature Geoscience, they said that a sudden melting event occurred over the course of six months in the last, which caused the Thwaites Glacier retreat as much as 1.3 miles kilometers, per year. That's twice the rate that scientists have observed in the past decade or so, said the study. Thwaites is called the Doomsday Glacier because of the high risk of collapse and the threat to global sea level. Thwaites Glacier is a massive chunk of ice around the same size as the state of Florida in the U.S. or the entirety of the United Kingdom that is slowly melting into the ocean off West Antarctica. The glacier gets its ominous nickname because of the spine-chilling implications of its total liquidation, which could raise global sea levels between 3 and 10 feet, 0.9 and 3 meters, researchers said in a statement. Due to climate change, the enormous frozen mass is retreating twice as fast as it was 30 years ago and is losing around 50 billion tons, 45 billion metric tons, of ice annually, according to the International Thwaites Glacier Collaboration. The Thwaites Glacier extends well below the ocean's surface and is held in place by jagged points on the seafloor that slow the glacier's slide into the water. Sections of seafloor that grab hold of a glacier's underbelly are known as grounding points and play a key role in how quickly a glacier can retreat. In the new study, an international team of researchers used an underwater robot to map out one of Thwaites' past grounding points, a protruding seafloor ridge known as the Bump, which is around 2,133 feet 650 meters below the surface. The resulting map revealed that at some point during the last two centuries, when the Bump was propping up Thwaites' glacier, the glacier's ice mass retreated more than twice as fast as it does now. Researchers say the new map is like a crystal ball showing us what could happen to the glacier in the future if it becomes detached from its current grounding point, which is around 984 feet 300 meters below the surface and gets anchored to a deeper one like the bump. This scenario could become more likely in the future if increasingly warmer waters melt away the glacier's guts, according to the statement. Thwaites is really holding on today by its fingernails, study co-author Robert Larder, a marine geophysicist with the British Antarctic Survey, said in the statement. We should expect to see big changes over small timescales in the future. Researchers are unsure exactly when the glacier sat on top of the bump, but it was definitely within the last two centuries and was most probably sometime before the 1950s. The team was unable to take the necessary core samples from the seafloor to properly age the bump because increasingly icy conditions around the glacier meant that they, too, had to swiftly retreat from the region, according to the statement. However, the team intends to return soon to properly answer this important question. The new findings are worrying because they show that the Thwaites Glacier experienced pulses of very rapid retreat even before the effects of climate change increased the current rate of ice loss, Graham said. It shows that the glacier has the potential to accelerate much faster if it becomes detached from its current grounding point and anchors to a subsequent bump-like grounding point, he added. Past research using robotic subs has shown that surprisingly warm water beneath the glacier may be melting the underbelly of the icy mass, which could quickly push the glacier toward this tipping point. Once the glacier retreats beyond the current shallow ridge in its bed, it could take just a few years to accelerate to a similar rate of retreat during the age of the bump, Larder said. Just a small kick to the Thwaites could lead to a big response.